immediately amused by the eye following my mouse. Okay. One thing I thought was interesting is uh, there's a um, CRT mode if you want to go full retro, but I think we will not do that this time. So the only thing I know about this so far is that it is survival horror. Already giving me unattainable goals. Okay, we can walk slightly faster. Okay, we've got... We look in the direction we're walking, but if we're not walking... We look in the direction of the mouse. Oh, click, okay. I'm enjoying the vibe of this so far. I'm gonna see, yep. Locked door. So I guess we're going up. As a passcode. We can go this way. Looks like we can go all those ways. So let's start with this way. Penrose type vessel field operations manual. Penrose type vessels of the Yusan People's Navy are low-cost space exploration vessels deployed beyond the solar system's edge in the search of for in the search for planets and moons fit for habitation or rich in natural resources to support the continuous growth of our great nation. All Penrose vessels are piloted by a Gestalt scout officer, supported by a land survey ship technician replica LSTR. This partner system of Gestalt Replica Co-Operation has proven successful in countless previous scout operations. Mutual control and support allow for both the Gestalt Officer and the Technician Replica to perform at their optimal capacity. Once the vessel is catapulted towards the edge of the solar system by an orbital mass driver, the pilot may adjust the course from the pilot flight deck while the replica will take care of the mechanical maintenance of the vehicle. I'm assuming... Oh, yep. We're out of this room. This room is dead to us. I would like to uh, not be in that room anymore. Let's go check out this room. Yes. Type 75 pistol, user manual. Point, click. Okay. The Type 75 pistol is a short recoil operated locked reach semi automatic pistol chambered for 10 by 20 millimeter. This reliable, versatile handgun is the standard issue sidearm for the for Aeon Protector controller staff. Replica users, remember to first equip this Type 75 pistol in the inventory screen to designate the pistol as your primary weapon for the targeting module. To deploy a weapon, hold the AIM key to disengage the safety and enter targeting mode. While in targeting mode, the attack key and the interaction key will both fire the weapon. The reload key will initiate a reload. Remember, do not waste ammunition, for it is a resource of the nation. When the target is down, try to finish it off by kicking or hitting it with the baton to preserve ammunition. Cool. Okay, we have equipped. We have found. 
Okay, we have a radio, I think. Looks like a radio. Oh, yep, it is a radio. We've got our uh, two files and our diagnostics. We also have a map. Cool. LSTR features. Repair logic module. Serving our great nation as ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Penrose program, LSTR-type replicas like yourself are equipped with a specialized repair logic module, RLM, allowing them to quickly and easily repair both themselves and important mission equipment. Accessing the RLM functions. Enter the inventory screen by pressing the inventory key. Select the item to repair with the left and right directional controls. Press the interaction key to open the command menu. Press the combine option to enter combine mode. While in combine mode, select a second item to repair by using the left and right directional controls. Press the interaction key again to combine both items. To repair damage to the replica body, Select a suitable repair item and simply choose the Use option from the command menu. Sometimes it can be helpful to take a good look at an object from all sides. Select the Inspect option from the command menu to enter Inspect mode. While in Inspect mode, use the directional controls to rotate the item to look at it from all sides. Cool. Low damage, but large magazine capacity and high rate of fire. Looks like we got a little laser aimer. I know we just walked in here, but... Something caught my eye as we were walking out. Yep. <laughs> Penrose 512. Yes, we will definitely take the tape. We got the tape. Status. Critical system failure detected. Location unknown planetary surface. Crew status. A. Young. Gestalt pilot. No signal. LSTR-512, Replica Unit, Active, Mess Hall. Hard landing on surfaces damaged critical systems. Warning, surface temperature critically low. Wear protective clothing during ABA. Fair enough. Not what we meant. How I'm get out? I'd like to not be in the screen anymore? Okay, there we go. Nope. Okay, I got it. I would like to not be here anymore, I think, is uh, where I come down on that. Alright, we've got like a suit there. The suit has been removed from the case. There's an ABA suit in the case. We need a key card to use the airlock. Nope. Don't mind me. We will definitely take some repair spray. Script note. A two seventy eight believe megawatts. Thirteen hundred. 
3850. I wonder if these are... I was wondering if it was like possibly radio stations. Yes. Okay, so that the, the note stays there, but we just remember it. Okay. Don't mind me. Just passing through. You've noticed. Okay, so we're on in the cockpit. The ship has crashed in an icy landscape. A faded photograph is stuck to the LDAM controls. Yes. The landing and docking assist monitor. It's of no use to me now. Port control panels. There has been a critical system failure due to the hard landing. Makes sense. The ship's control panel. Judging from the readout, there's no chance it'll ever fly again. The starboard controls panel. Controls aren't responding to any input. Probably an electrical failure. The ship's control panel. It's a lost cause. Anything else in here? No. Don't mind me. question is, is, is it worth trying to uh, get through here? Oh, I'm going to do that, I guess. Reactor cell maintenance. All onboard electronics on Penrose-type vessels are powered by the ship's primary power source, a five-cell adjustable sealed autonomous thermal nuclear power plant, EPA AKW. The power output of each fuel cell can be individually controlled by adjusting the position of the fuel rods in the liquid coolant. Raising a rod will increase the power output of the cell, but also increase the temperature of the fuel cell. To protect the reactor from dangerous heat damage, the control system will only accept fuel rod position configurations below a maximum average reactor temperature of 700K. In the case of vessel collision or hard landing, fuel rods may become moved out of the alignment. After a landing, always check the fuel rod alignment in the reactor control computer. Meltdown danger. Cool. Okay, so we need... to chill things the fuck out. Fuel rod D is stuck. Okay, so this is what we need the, uh, that note for. Okay. Fair enough. Interesting. We'll take a look at that momentarily. But for now, I would like to look at the scribbled note. D is stuck, so we can't do anything with it anyway. 
I have already forgotten because of my brain. 2780, 1,700. Okay. We have prevented a meltdown. You love to see it. All right. Let's keep exploring. Hello. Disposable stun prod. Two of them. Or Electro Impulse Devices. The EIG-2 Stun Rod is a single-use, short-range, disposable, non-lethal solution for incapacitating, non-cooperative individuals. It can be equipped to the tool slot from the inventory screen. Once equipped, it will be shown in the lower left of the inventory screen. The EIG-2 Stun Rod Stun Prod can be used with one hand while on the move or even while aiming another weapon. Once equipped, to use the stun prod, simply press the tool key when facing a nearby enemy. Mental note, look up what key is the tool key. Warning, high voltage electric trick discharge may arc to individuals close to the target. Use with care. Do not deploy on elderly, pregnant, or individuals with known heart disease unless absolutely necessary. Dispose of stun prod properly after use. Duly noted. It's an item box. Okay. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let us first inspect. Looks like the pigment was damaged by time and exposure to the elements. Cry cryo? So this is health related. Let's equip that. Might as well top it off, okay. Okay, so we can use this for fixing shit. I believe it's the technical term. Also, just okay. So these are mini heels. These are big heels. If that's the case, let's stick the big heels in the box and hold on to the mini heels for now.
Okay, it doesn't look like we're gonna get anything from dead bodies, but at least we know. All right, before we start messing with any control panels, let's, uh, I guess that's maybe the only thing we can do. Let's look around first. Okay. I would like to see this. So, top two corners, middle, bottom right. Wakey, wakey. Two pieces of key snapped in half lie inside the cryogenic pod. Yes, we will take the airlock key. So, my assumption here is that we are going to need that tape. Um, well, we're not going to need that at the moment. done it. All right, let's hold on to the uh, heels now since we have the space. Sundany. How is it going? All right. Oh, apparently it was uh, a little closer to uh, falling down than I thought. suit. Maybe not. Yes, we'll use the airlock key. Alright, we're suiting up. It is very nice.
seems normal. I'm sure you'll get there with practice. Anything to look at, or are we just crawling into this little hole? There's a strange hole leading deep into the ground. There's a faint light glowing in the deep. Crawl into the hole? Yes. Seems cozy. Light switch. I'd rather not turn it off. Fair. An ancient looking tome is lying on the table. It feels like it's calling to me. Pick up the king in yellow. Yes. I recognize that name. Pretty sure it's a Lovecraft thing. We're sorry. If you would like to leave a call, please dial and <laughs> try it. Great holes secretly are digged where Earth's poor Earth's pores ought to suffice. And things have learnt to walk that ought to crawl. Remember our promise. I do wish I'd looked around the room a little bit more. <laughs> but. I'm definitely down. I'm gonna play the hell out of this game when it comes out. <laughs> 